Hi guys and welcome to a journal with me video. Today I've got my little stationery pouch from Aventoy and if you're looking for a little stationery pouch for your journaling supplies, I'll link this one in the description box. It's so adorable. And inside I've got all my journaling supplies from a Ben toy. So I did a haul in my last video, but I'll also link these supplies if you haven't watched that video yet. Now inside I've got my six ring binder and I think it's so adorable. So I'll pop this one aside for now. And I'm gonna be working in my six ring binder today. And I already made like a little cover page in my last video. And today I'm gonna to be working on, I think two or three pages. I already put this adorable little Ikea bunny sticker inside. Um, so other supplies I have are scissors, double-sided tape, and a glue stick. I've also got this little pile over here. Well, it's not so little, it's quite a big pile of goodies. And this came, um, all of these items came in my PO box. I also have this little um, tub over here of washi tape samples that I've been collecting over like the last five years, basically. And they also came in my PO box. I've also got my two Frankie magazines. And then what else have I got? I also have this box here and it's full of packaging and just random bits and pieces that I've been wanting to put in my journal. So yeah, this one is quite a random box, but it gives me lots of inspiration for journaling. Lastly, I've got a really exciting package to open for you guys today. This is the first time I've bought something from Capnip and I'll have the link to her Instagram and shop in the description box below. Um, I'm sure a lot of you already follow her on YouTube and it's so cute because on top of the box it says, oh wow, some happy mail for, and then my name and address. And then the little catnip um, logo, I guess. And it says, you da best. <laughs> so I love the way that she's packaged this and inside, it's so gorgeous, I love this packaging. And it even tells you who packaged the box. So packaged with love by Matthew and it's got a little image of Matthew as well. I'll see if I can do a little close up. It's just so gorgeous. Now, because this video is a chattier video today, I don't really want to cut and edit a lot of this video. So sorry about the close ups um, and that I'm not gonna have a lot of B-roll. So. I'm probably going to be using this packaging in my journal spread today and I'll show you what's inside this little package. Let me see if I can get this one in focus for you guys. Look how adorable this little bee is. I love it. I'm gonna, definitely going to be using this one in my journal spread today. So I couldn't resist buying this little art print. I thought it was so adorable. The little apple stuck in a cup and it says, please send help. <laughs> It's so cute and it's um, it's not actually glued on this board but I think I'm going to glue it um, on this card board here and put it on my wall or I could even frame it actually this would look adorable in a little white frame and then lastly I also got some adorable stickers which I'm going to use in my journal spread today this is so adorable. Now I bought these on Etsy, so the shipping was actually quite expensive, but running a small business myself, I know <laughs> how expensive shipping can be internationally, but I just thought this was the cutest. Um, so I had to get it. And then, yeah, I think I remember buying these. Aren't these like the cutest stickers in the world? I think they're meant to be marshmallows with um, like these little froggy raincoats splashing in puddles. I got two of them. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I'm so happy with this purchase. All right, let's get into the journal spread today. Just before we get started on the journal spread today, I wanted to do a quick announcement. I nearly forgot to tell you guys about my launch of my cozy collection. So this is my new cozy sticker sheet. It comes in 
two sizes and so many people had messaged me about this one waiting for it to um, be launched on my shop so I did a flash giveaway over the weekend I gave 25% off the cozy collection actually I gave 25% off the whole shop my stationery collection shop on Instagram and I wanted to do the same here on YouTube so there will be a discount code in the description box if you want to grab the new cozy collection I also have four postcards that are part of the cozy collection. This one here in particular has been a bestseller and I've had lots of positive comments on the little postman squirrel and also this girl reading a book. So these have become bestsellers on my shop at the moment. So if you guys wanted to grab any of the items from my cozy collection I will be having a flash sale and the discount code will be available for the next um, two days so yeah grab them while stocks last I've only got I think 10 of 10 left of these ones and I think 25 left of these ones so yeah they're selling out fast I'll have to double check those um, the stock to make sure that when I upload this video they haven't already sold out. So yeah, that's my new cozy collection. So I'm going to finish this page off first and I think I'm going to use this wrapping that I got from Cat Amp. Now I need to somehow peel this off without ripping the paper. Perfect. I really want to put this one like up here. That wrapping paper is so cute, oh my goodness. Okay, I might actually put that on the next page. Now let's open these up so I can get these pages out. So that will be a double page and then that one will flip over and then that will be a double page, okay. Probably don't need that on right now. Um, so maybe I'll put the paper on this page here. It's really hard to chat and craft at the same time. That's why I usually create voiceovers for these videos. Um, I've got to remember to get a hole punch. Now, I can't find my hand hole punch. I think I lost it. Where would it be? I'm going to have to go find it. So I couldn't find my handheld hole punch, is that what you call it? So the only other hole punch I have is this massive one, which does three holes at the same time. So oh, it's going to be so annoying doing it with this one. But first I've got to stick this down and I don't think I'm going to make the edges perfect. I'm just going to roughly stick it on. So let's do that now. Okay, I might use this adorable bee washi tape, but I kind of don't want to break. Ah, okay, yes, I got it off. Maybe let's put this on here because it's so cute.
at the moment I'm looking for work placement so I'm trying to find an art therapist that I can um, shadow so basically work alongside and um, yeah learn how how an art therapy studio works and hopefully get some work experience that way so I've been emailing people trying to get some work experience um, and I'm just waiting for people to start replying back and hopefully I'll have a placement soon and if I do get a placement I might have to go off YouTube for a while because um, I won't be able to work and um, study and do my placements all at the same time. It's just going to be a bit too much, I think. So yeah, I either have to, I have to decide if I am going to stop making videos altogether or if I'm going to just stop for a little while um, or if I'm going to have to cut down my videos to maybe one day a week. So that's going to be unfortunate because um, I love making videos. I keep telling myself that one day this will be my full-time job. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I'm really excited about being an art therapist. I'm so thankful that I have a Patreon and people like you guys who support me and watch my videos each week and um, yeah are just there for me. It's crazy to think that I've got like 25,000 people who have subscribed to my YouTube channel and out of those 25,000 people there are around a thousand of you who watch my videos every single week, which is just crazy to think about. And then a hundred of you like comment on all of my videos each week and 600 of you, I mean 6,000 of you follow me on Instagram and then around 25 of you guys also um i signed up to my patreon at the moment and out of the 25 of you who signed up to my patreon i get to see on our monthly calls um so we have a catch up and there's around i think six of you who consistently come every month so it's so nice to have a community on all different platforms where i get to meet all of you guys in different ways because Every single time you comment or if you follow, or like if you join my Patreon, whatever it is, it's another way that I get to, to catch up and meet you guys. And the people who do comment on YouTube, I've been learning your names more and more. So as I said, there's around a hundred of you who comment on my videos regularly and I've been remembering and noticing like the sim like same names comment each week or each month and it's so nice because it reminds me that you guys keep coming back and watching what I do so yeah it just feels really really lovely and like such a nice community and I don't usually get negative comments which 
is fantastic because I know the internet is full. I don't want to say of haters, but <laughs> essentially, yeah. Oh, I forgot about this page. Like this paper here. Yeah, so it's just incredible to know that you guys like what I'm doing and come back. this paper let me know in the comments if you see anything that you've sent me in the mail because I am using a lot of goodies from my pair box up do you guys do that do you guys buy stationery and then you don't want to use it but I think if I'm putting it in a journal then I can always look back on it but it's like I want to hoard things before using them but then they're just sitting in a cupboard at least this way it's on a little happy mail like on not a happy mail sorry on a spread like on a cute little spread maybe I'll use this up Maybe these little stars. I think I like this one and that might be done. Is there anything else I can add? Because I don't want to overload it with just stickers. Yeah, I might finish that one up. I think this one might be done too. Maybe I want to draw on this one. I'll get my... So these are just metallic gel pens and I think I want to do stars and like squiggles So it's Saturday today and my partner Dan is rostered on at work today. So I thought why not do some journaling. I've got all of this amazing stationery that I wanted to use and I need to stop hoarding my stationery and just use it more. Um, I'm so happy that I don't work weekends. I used to hate working weekends when I used to work in retail and hospitality and it's not because of the industry being bad it was because I had a lot of crappy jobs throughout my life and a lot of crappy bosses and I just didn't enjoy it I wanted I always wanted more there was one job where I had a manager who used to walk past and tell me to smile and it wasn't because I was like actively going out of my way to be in a bad mood, but every time he walked past, I would instantly just be in a bad mood because he would always tell me to smile. And it's sometimes when I'm focused in on my job, I'm not turning around and greeting all the customers because I used to be on stock a lot. 
and when I was just packing the shelves, I would be really focusing on what I'm doing and then he would walk past and see that I didn't smile at a customer and come over and, and get upset at me. And um, yeah, I think I just got into a, a bad mood every time he came past. <laughs> One day at work, I was rostered on to um, to be at the registers. So I started my shift and then about, when was it? Like probably like the first 10 minutes into my shift, he came over with a sign and it was a sign that he put above my register about smiling at every customer and greeting them. And I was so angry and I don't know why it made me so upset, but I think it was the fact that it was kind of like, I wouldn't say bullying, but it was like he was targeting me in a way. It felt targeted towards me and yeah, I never want to be in a company again where I just feel like I have no control over what I can do and how I feel. Um, because yeah, at that time I really needed that job and it, and it wasn't a bad enough workplace that I wanted to leave. It was just when this one manager was working and always made me feel less than, I guess, and incompetent. Although I always did all the stock well, like I, I stocked the shelves well and I was really good with the customers and I... All my previous jobs, I always had really great references because I like working with customers. I feel like I'm a people person and yeah, I just have always wanted to run my own business after that. And I always felt like I've got enough skill sets to do my own marketing and sales and that's why I'm really enjoying running my own small stationery um, business. It's still not at full time um, hours yet, like I can't sustain working full time once I leave university, but it's getting quite co close which is exciting. I'm getting more and more sales every month and um, I release new products monthly and that's thanks to my patrons. Um, because yeah, I'm, I'm able to financially fund the, um, designing and printing of my stickers each month because I've got that Patreon money coming in each month, which is so exciting. And then, yeah, if I have my own private practice one day as an art therapist, which is crazy to think of because <laughs> I'm nowhere near close to that, um, then yeah, hopefully that would be me working for myself, having my own business. So those are life dreams.
I've been working on a really exciting project. Um, I'm actually creating an art course and I'm going to be launching it sometime this year. Um, hopefully after my diploma is finished I will um, get started on it. I might have to go off YouTube for a month in order to complete the course but it's going to be called Art as Therapy and I'm going to tell you guys a lot more about it when it's closer to the launch date. Mm -hmm.